Sawadikap. I'm JP Mestanza, and today is Tuesday, September 7th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by pbcphuket.com. The central government in Bangkok is considering allowing the national emergency decree to expire at the end of this month with no renewal, which would also mean the end for the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration. If the emergency decree is not extended, the Communicable Disease Control Act would be used to manage the COVID pandemic in Thailand under the auspices of the Public Health Ministry. The issue will be discussed this week on Friday when officials evaluate the COVID-19 situation in Thailand since lockdown measures were relaxed in many provinces nationwide at the beginning of this month. The news comes as the CCSA warned that new daily cases could reach up to 30,000 if precautions are not taken seriously, according to the government, as more restrictions are lifted nationwide. Prime Minister Prayu chan first declared a state of emergency in Thailand on March 26th of 2020 and established the CCSA to coordinate the government response to the COVID pandemic. Months later, anti-government protesters began taking to the streets, accusing the Prime Minister and others of using the emergency decree to stifle political dissent in the country. At the moment, the Public Health Ministry is revising the Disease Control Act to put in place more effective containment measures, according to reports. For more, visit thepukanews.com. The island continues to see over 200 cases a day after Phuket officials confirmed 232 total COVID cases on Monday night. Since April 1st, Phuket has recorded 5,727 total COVID cases. Zooming out to the rest of the country, cases are under 14,000 for the second straight day with 241 more COVID fatalities over the last 24 hours. Since the pandemic began, 88% of total COVID patients have recovered in Thailand. The Pfizer vaccine is now being deployed to vaccinate people across the island here in Phuket against COVID-19, including people over 60 and those with underlying health conditions, while frontline health workers will receive their third booster shot. Phuket officials marked that over 5,400 doses of Pfizer have already been administered across the island, the vast majority at Vashida Hospital Phuket. Foreigners who are over 60 or at least have one of the following conditions on your screen are allowed to register through the Phuket Must Win website. Including mass vaccinations from earlier this year, officials say that so far, 69% of the total registered population of Phuket has been fully vaccinated. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. People who show little to no symptoms of COVID-19 but have tested positive will be asked to observe quarantine at home while officials announced that more community isolation centers could be set up across the island. An epidemiologist at Bashida Phuket Hospital explained at a meeting with officials this week that the district health system plan that was drawn up goes like this. We will set up community isolation centers which can be located at a temple, school, or other place that people in each community find acceptable. There will also be quarantine places which can handle 200 people and have 24-hour monitoring centers where staff can be informed of patients' conditions deteriorating. For people who test positive via ATKs or antigen test kits and stay in community isolation or home isolation, if they develop more serious symptoms, staff must take them to hospitals where they will be tested with RT-PCS and classified whether they are yellow or red patients. Yellow patients show moderate symptoms, while red patients are those with serious symptoms and are in ICU. Green patients are recognized as suffering mild symptoms of sore throat, loss of taste and smell, coughing, runny nose, and a body temperature over 37.5 degrees Celsius. This is the group that was mentioned by the chief of the Phuket Provincial Public Health Office, who said, quote, most new infected people have no symptoms or only light symptoms of the disease, which we call green patients. They do not need to receive treatment in hospitals, but they can do quarantine as community isolation or home isolation. According to a PR Phuket report, 
it was not made clear how the community isolation centers will be different from the COVID-19 care centers already set up across the island, which are already meant for people who tested positive via rapid antigen test kit and are awaiting results of RT-PCR COVID testing. According to the PPHO's own daily reports, the island currently has 2,351 hospital beds available for patients. For more, visit thepukanews.com. Quality guaranteed since 2012. Call M and Painting today. Phuket Governor Narong Wuncheo is confirming that the Phuket Sandbox scheme will continue here while claiming that the project has so far generated an estimated 1.6 billion baht for the economy. From July 1st to last Saturday, September 4th, there have been just over 28,000 Phuket Sandbox tourist arrivals. Currently, the island is hosting just under 5,000 sandbox tourists, according to the governor, who made the remarks as the island sees over 200 daily COVID cases. It also comes a week after a former Phuket MP reported that the average monthly income across the island stood at 1,961 baht, a figure lower than the poverty line in Thailand, all a result of the COVID prevention measures that have had on businesses across all sectors. Back in mid-June, during a televised address to the nation, Thailand Prime Minister Prayut chan -cha promised that the country would fully reopen in 120 days, which will put it around October. Now, the Bangkok Post is reporting that the CCSA is proposing a plan to reopen several popular travel destinations around the kingdom, including Chiang Mai, Pattaya, and Hua Hin on October 1st. The plan is contingent on higher vaccination rates in all of these destinations, which also includes Chiang Mai, Koh Chang, and Koh Kut, and even Bangkok, although reports say the capital is most likely to open in November, given the massive number of people yet to be fully vaccinated and daily cases still in the thousands. The Prime Minister has stated that reviving the tourism sector is a key priority, and he began with the Phuket Sandbox project on July 1st, which is expanded to other islands across the Andaman coast and the Gulf of Thailand coast. Discussions are set to take place later this week. Thanks for joining us here today on Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.